All right, guys, so today we're going to be working on the Reeves enclosure, and here's their stock tank as it stands now. 300 gallon stock tank. I um, apologize for the audio right now. I have to charge my phone, and so I can't, you know, plug in my mic. So I already cleaned out the water area. It's nice and dry, it's scrubbed and clean, and I took the plants out right there so I can rearrange everything and get it set up for how I want it to be. So right now I'm going to be putting in the ramp to where they will be basking and I'm going to get some silicone and silicone some rocks and stuff right there so they can easily climb up and get into the land. Um, I'm not going to do any other like easy out you know areas for them just because I want the maximum amount of space for them to have water. So once they learn that this is their in and out area everything will be fine. So uh, let's get right to that. Okay, so as this ramp is drying, one of the rocks came off, and I think it's because it was a little wet when I siliconed them on there. The other ones seemed fine, but one of the rocks, you can kind of see right there, that rock came off. But we're gonna get the hose and actually bring it through the window that's right up here and re moisten down all this, all this substrate. And then once that's done, we'll clean some sand for the water area. Then hopefully by then the silicone will be done drying it's already been a few hours and then we can kind of start building it from the bottom up so we'll grab the hose and we'll moist this down Okay, so I decided to go ahead and start doing the land area first, just because I want to do this before I put water in here. So if any dirt or debris gets in the water, I can just wipe it out rather than having to like net it out or settle at the bottom or get caught in the filter. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, I got this piece of tile. It's pretty nice. Just a Home Depot piece of tile and, you know, I washed it off and everything. It's got some dust on it still but i just went out i went to home depot i bought one tile and it's going to go right here in front of the ramp as the basking area because this is going to be moist substrate to live in water and i want them to have a nice dry area where they can get off and completely dry off um so this is going to be pretty nice it's not like a dark material so it won't absorb the heat as much so um, it won't get like extremely hot and it's porcelain. So you no, know, it's not plastic, not gonna melt or anything. So I'm just gonna start off by placing this tile down right here. I want it to be level. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's, this is where the heat light, the heat bulb and the EVB will be right there on that tile. Right directly down. Now, of course, they're gonna go everywhere else. Um, they, some of them may bask in the dirt, but that's just where I thought it would be nice. Um, before, uh, when I did the other video, some of you guys were concerned that the plants planted in the dirt wouldn't last. I actually kept them in the pot, and through the entire summer, I didn't do a single thing. The bromeliad died, unfortunately, but these plants did nothing but grow. Uh, I'm not sure if. You know, I don't know, they, they are doing great. Um, but they are still in the original pot that I bought them in. And I'm kind of afraid to take them out because of how well they're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this the way I want it looking.
Okay guys, so I don't know what the deal was with that sand, but that sand was excessively dirty. So I got the bucket right here. I cleaned it out the best I could. I mean, there have been times where I bought a bag of sand. It's play sand. There have been times where I bought a bag of sand, put it in a bucket to clean it, and it was like, wow. This didn't even need cleaned. But this, this is dirty sand for some reason. So it's probably going to take a while to clear up. I'm just going to dump it in, fill it up, and then um, let it settle for 24 hours. And if it's, you know, I'll, we'll see how it is. And after it's done settling as much as it will, I'm gonna stick the filter in, and then we'll see how it goes. But uh, I mean, I cleaned it out the best I could. We'll see what, see how it goes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is solid. I need to like find a hammer or something. Ooh, I got it. Have this thing here. As you can see. Still works. All right. There we go. Got a nice sand castle going. Uh, it's not a lot of sand, but I didn't want a lot of sand. I wanted basically just enough to cover the bottom of the water area. And I know that there'll you know, be some that you'll still see and stuff, but that's just how it is. I basically just wanted something that'll cover most of it. Just so it gets the idea, you know, the point across that there is sand in the bottom of this water enclosure. Looks like we got enough. Figured it would be just about exactly what we needed. Time to bring the hose in and fill this bad boy up. I gotta tell you guys, I am very surprised with how clear the water is. I thought for sure, I gotta tell you guys, I am astonished of how clear the water is. I mean, I don't know. It seemed like really dirty sand. It is like 11 o'clock at night and it was really dark. I couldn't really see, but I mean, of how it's just laying there, it seems somewhat clean. I'm just gonna kind of smooth the, all these things out. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the, the heater and the filter. I was gonna wait to put the filter in because I thought it was gonna be like super, super dirty. But I'm gonna put the heater in because this water is like stupid cold. I'm put the heater in, put it in the filter, and just let it cycle for a day or so, a few days. And put the turtles in. Of course, we're gonna do more throughout the winter, like fish. Uh, more decorations in here for sure. I can't just leave it bare like this. I'm, I'm gonna add more. Um, but they all have this land area here. Got the UVB, got the heat. It's coming together for sure. It is gonna be a process, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add those, those two things. All right, so here's the heater. I have it set to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. So uh, let's go ahead and install this. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I know the filter has to go somewhere around here. And I really like these 
these uh, heaters here because it has this guard on it. So the turtles won't get burned, which is great. Let's see, where can I put this? Honestly, put it here and then put the filter on top of it. That'll work. Put it way at the bottom. Hide this cord in between the fold. There we go. That better stay. Then we'll plug it in. Yeah, whatever. Well, it's on. And it's plugged in for now. I have an extension cord I'm going to use. But for right now, I'm just going to let it sit there. Because this water is like really, really cold. I'm using the extension cord for this light right here. Because it looks a lot better on camera. So, I will put it back when... I don't need the light. And the light's falling on me now. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and install the filter. Then I have a thermometer that I'm going to put in as well. So here's the filter I'm using. This is a Marine Land. It's for up to, what is it, 97 gallons? 97 gallon tank. This is roughly 60 gallons of water. So should filter it sufficiently. And right now there it came in two like modifications. It's the filter, which is just like carbon, you know, just like a like a carbon, like a pad filter thing. And it came with a water polishing like wheel, which makes the water clear. But I don't need the water polishing. The filter, like the actual filtration is more important to me. So that's what's in this. I never used this filter before. And I'm excited to see how well it does. And I hope it will stay suction cut on the side here. You know what, I'm gonna fill up this little canister here with water first. suction cup. Hopefully it stays. And it won't. So I'm going to have to put a rock or something on top of the sand to get it to stay there. I don't know why it's not staying on this. Whatever. We're going to turn it on anyway. See how it does. Plug it into the extension cord. Three, two, one. There we go. Now that's a not a bad filter right there. If I could just get it to stay on the wall right there, I mean that's that's nice. I just need to figure out where the, the intake is. I couldn't figure out where the intake is. It's obviously not there. Huh. I don't know. So that is the end of this video. I know it ended kind of abruptly, but um, the next video will be of them being released into the, into the enclosure. Um, so make sure to keep out for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.